Hi everyone, it's Don, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, the very first test cruise has set sail yesterday for two days with some volunteers and crew members on board. And a lot of people are saying, why, with, with what just happened with the lawsuit, why is Royal Caribbean even bothering with the test cruise? So, yeah, let, let's talk about that. So yes, Royal Caribbean's Freedom of the Sea set sail for a two-day test cruise. One of the stipulations still by the CDC that was in place that you, or if you're not going to offer fully vaccinated cruises, then you have to do the test cruises, submit the documentation, and get approved for sailings. Why would they do this? The lawsuit says those restrictions are going to be gone on the 18th, and uh, yeah, well, that's the 18th. <laughs> of July, uh, and the cruise ship is set to set sail, I believe, on July 2nd. So they still have to follow those orders up until this time, so they're still going to do the test cruise to keep going. Not only that, the uh, CDC and the federal government have the right to uh, put in more recommendations by July 2nd uh, or 3rd, and the judge could rule on those recommendations to set up as the new conditional sale order or framework for sailing. So why take a chance? The cruise line had already set up this test cruise anyway, so they're going forward with the test cruise. Not only that, it does give some really good options for the cruise line themselves is to have them test their procedures, make sure there's no wrinkles, right? Uh, why have your first cruise be your test cruise, right? This is, you know, it's already set up. The passengers are, are already getting ready to come on and the crew is already set to go. So why not do the test cruises and make sure your procedure's in place? It's only two days, get it done, make sure everything's running. And if you, you might find something in there that, hey, that's a little out of whack. Maybe we should do it this way instead. And that could be a very good thing. Or everything runs perfectly smooth and you say, you know what? We are definitely ready for our guests coming on at the, at the beginning of next month. Another thing that's really good is if, you know what? I hit that subscribe button. <laughs> a lot of people say, why bother hitting the subscribe button? Well, first of all, you'll get updated with all the news and all the updates on cruising as we go along. Not only that, it does help the channel and it doesn't cost anything. So the question shouldn't be why hit the subscribe button and the notification button. The question should be why not do it? And that's not, there's no, really no good answer. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to make this entertaining. So there you go. Freedom of the seas. So does that mean that other cruise lines are still going to do their test cruises, even though they have, you know, the Disney cruise line is supposed to do a test cruise. We have other cruise lines getting set to start. Who knows? A lot will depend on what the judge says when the CDC comes back at the beginning of next month with their new protocols and their new suggestions. And if not, if it goes to... Uh, and the injunctions released, then they could appeal, and it, it could be a whole thing. Who knows? July 4th, the president could come out and say this, this state of emergency is gone, and uh, we don't have to worry about this, the conditional sale order anymore, and things are completely different. There's so many moving parts right now, but I was glad to see that the, the Freedom of the Seas didn't just say, you know what, we're going to not do the test cruise, even though it's all set up. And we're going to just go by the judge's decision because, as you all know, things can overturn and things can change on a dime right now with the way things are going with cruising and the pandemic and uh, vaccines and the, uh, and the um, hesitancy in vaccines. And it's just becoming a whole situation and a bunch of moving parts. And it's better to stay on top of things and be prepared than to take it for granted. I, to myself, I said to myself, hey, I'm going to be on the Odyssey of the Seas. Yeah, and I kind of took it for granted. And then they canceled four sailings <laughs> in July because of the crew members testing positive. Was not expecting that. So the cruise lines are right to do everything they need to do to make sure 
that anything that pops up, anything that steps in their way, they're ready for it. So that's the reason they're still doing test cruises. It'll end tomorrow, and hopefully there's no news. The Adventure of the Seas had their first sailing. No COVID outbreaks like we had on the Millennium, which still didn't interfere with the cruise at all. It didn't interfere with guests other than those people who were infected. It didn't spread to the ship. There was nothing on the adventure. And now we're waiting for the, this weekend coming up when we have the Celebrity Ed set sail. And the more and more ships that get going and sail safely with no, nothing happening, the more and more it looks like they can open faster and faster and faster. And hopefully by the end of this year, we're seeing every cruise ship sailing back and pretty much as normal. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want we'll to see more tips, more tricks, more travel blogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.